In this video, I'm showing you what is included in our math tubs for October. And um, I'm really annoyed that that's not turned around, but here we go. So one thing that I've started doing this year with my groups is differentiating um, the 10 frames and the counting. So typically our 10 frames would go to 20. So I have a large part of my, my class that is great with counting to 10 to, or 12, but not quite to 20. So what I've been doing is printing the 10 frame cards only to 10 or 12 instead of 20 so that those groups are getting that practice in centers as well. So that's what you see here. So they count the 10 frame, match the number more 10 frames and numbers, number recognition with our pumpkin spinners, no, number matching, so they're matching the numbers. There's another 10 frame. So they count the 10 frame, match the number. We have our giant floor puzzle to 20, which the kids are obsessed with. Spinning and coloring the numbers, and then uh, more number matching. So this group has 10 frames to 20. So this is a fun one. They're counting the dots on the spider and matching the number. So when you put them together, they make a spider. The kids love that one. Spinning number recognition, 10 frames. And in this one, I started the recording sheet. So a lot of the kids are also starting to use more recording sheets, 10 frames, but just presented in a, a slightly different form. Clip it, learn it. So they're counting bears. Clip it, learn it, they're counting 10 frames. Over here we have a very hands-on center. So the spider web bowl from Dollar Tree, some spiders and number cards. So they pick a number card, they have to put the right number of spiders on the spider web, and then they make the 10 frame on the recording sheet. Plate counting, we love using plates. And so we just use the dot sticker. They put the right number of erasers and then they make the recording sheet candy corn puzzles. So it's the number, the 10 frame, and the dots to make candy corn. Kids love this one, spider web. And then we found fake bugs at Dollar Tree. So they have to put the right number of bugs on the spider web. Clip it, learn it with dominoes. Monster puzzles. So they count the arms on the monster, match the number. Popsicles. So it's um, 10 frames, numbers, and tally marks, and dots. And then the bats are like the spiders, um, but they include tally marks. So the dots and then the wings um, and the number. So you end up making a bat. So the kids love those. And then we have number matching. So just very simple number recognition. Number recognition with spinners. Number matching. Number recognition, you're choosing the card, coloring the number. This one, so again, you see the way we can use them, right? So we print one set of the cards, they can choose a number, color the recording sheet. Or we can print two sets of the cards and it becomes a number matching game. And then our Smashing Pumpkins. And then we have another um, cup stacking. This is numbers in 10 frames. So that's on the side. So that's what's included in our math tubs for October.